Inductive Sensor Analog Front End Device, MCP2036 by Microchip. Welcome to the training module on the MCP2036. This training module introduces the inductive sensing method, device features, and application information. The MCP2036 Inductive Sensor Analog Front End, or AFE, combines all the necessary analog functions for a complete inductance measurement system. The analog front end works with almost any 8, 16, or 32-bit PIC microcontroller, DSPIC, or DSE, making it even easier and more cost-effective for designers to enhance user interfaces with inductive touch sensing technology. This inductive touch AFE includes a multiplexer, a frequency mixer, an amplifier, a driver, and a voltage reference, which drastically lowers component count and reduces design size and cost. AFE can be easily configured for a variety of applications in the appliance, industrial, and automotive markets, among others. Inductive touch sensing fundamental operating principles enable it to work through a front panel such as plastic, stainless steel, or aluminum. The technology also works through thick gloves and on surfaces where liquids are present. These characteristics makes inductive touch sensing suitable for applications in the appliance market because of the possibility of stainless steel front end panels. It is also suitable for industrial markets due to the technology's robustness and the automotive market because of the technology's sleek aesthetics and ability to reduce accidental touch triggers. When a user presses the front panel, it deflects slightly. This deflection on the order of microns is inductively detected. The fundamental principle of operation is that the impedance of an inductor varies when a nearby magnetically permeable or electrically conductive material moves relative to the inductor. Microchip enables designers to integrate inductive touch sensing functionality with the existing application code in a single standard 8, 16, or 32-bit PIC microcontroller or 16-bit DSPIC digital signal controller, thus reducing total system costs. The only peripherals needed are a PWM and an A to D converter. To lower component count, the reduced design size and cost, Microchip offers the inductive touch AFE MCP2036, which includes a multiplexer, a frequency mixer, an amplifier, a driver, and a voltage reference. The MCP2036 measures a sensor's coil impedance by exciting the coil with a pulsed DC current and measuring the amplitude of the resulting AC waveform. The drive current is generated by an on-chip current amplifier which takes the high-frequency triangular waveform present on the DRV in input and amplifies it into the pulse DC current for exciting the series combination of sensor coils. The AC voltages generated across the coils are then capacitively coupled with the LBTN and L reference inputs. The triangular waveform applied to this input should be in phase with the clock signal for best performance. A driver output is used to excite the sensor coils. It is a current mode output designed to drive small inductive loads. This is the performance curves for the driver input and inductor driver transfer function. The coil driver input is derived from the digital clock supplied to the clock input. The driver will create a triangular current in phase and proportional with the input voltage. This slide shows the interface connection for inductive sensors. There are two methods of connecting the analog interface for switching the driver. One is by using the NPN transistor for key selection, and another is by using analog multiplexers. Both schematics have been shown. The coil voltages are then multiplexed into synchronous detector section by the LBTN or L reference multiplexer. This allows the microcontroller to select which signal is sampled by the detector. The detector converts the coil voltage into a DC level using a frequency mixer, amplifier, and filter. The mixer is composed of two switches driven by the clock present on the clock signal input. 
The switches toggle the amplifier or filter between an inverting and non-inverting topology at a rate equal to the clock input frequency.